small fairness. Guys, it's small fairness. Now, I've noticed there are a lot of women that complain about men um, with tiny pennies are uh, mostly gold diggers. Do you understand? They are mostly gold diggers. I don't know why you should wake up and start complaining that your man has a small penis as if you were the one that created him. As if when God was distributing penis, he purposely went and picked this, the, the very small one. It is the way he was created. There's nothing he can do about it. All these penis enlargement stories you hear. How long do you think he can enlarge it? Even when he, even if he applies cream or uses um, um, what is it called? That, that stuff that makes it, that they say makes it get bigger. How long do you think to get? I think they are, those women are just, they are, they are good diggers. Do you understand? A responsible woman would take the package God gave him and make better good use of it. If his penis is very small, if he's too tiny, you understand? There are ways, it's better to, for him to have a small penis and know how to use it than have a very big cassava and it's useless. He won't even know how to locate your G-spot. He won't even know how to get you um, to orgasm. He won't even know how to take you to that peak. And then he has a big penis. That is rubbish. To me, I would pick a small penis any day, any time. That is good. That is very, very good. That can take me to to the highest, in fact, to my peak. That can make me orgasm, multiple orgasm, reckless abandon. So. Um, Ladies should just cool off. This thing is so trending on the internet. Everywhere you go on social media, you'll be hearing, I cannot marry a guy with tiny penis. I cannot date a guy with tiny penis. Um, my husband has a tiny penis. What will I do? You're making men lose their confidence. You're making so many men that has this um, carrot size penis to start feeling inferior, to start feeling somehow. You're making them lose confidence in themselves. And you see them running around, helter skelter, to look for means to make their pennies bigger because they want to satisfy their wives, they want to satisfy their girlfriends, their mistresses and all. Thereby making them being as in get into the hands of scammers. A lot of people will tell you person some amount of money, I have a medicine that you drink and your pennies will be um, more than six inches long when it's erect. Some will tell you pay this, pay that, or do this, do that and you see them trying to eh? Meanwhile, they were they were okay uh, with it initially until they started having sex with uh, women that that know how to destroy a man's a man's confidence. I know how to destroy a man's ego. All because she has, all because she probably needs um she has this urge to get the biggest size of penis into her, which is very very wrong. Eh? I believe they're all good diggers. It's only a woman, a good digger, that wake up and start complaining she needs a bigger thing. She's not contented with what she has. That's why. If she was contented with what she has, she would not even come out and say, all these ladies that are materialistic, most of them are the ones complaining. If you see a good girl, decent, calm, that, that, just, um, that knows how to make good use of that little God has given her, that little that she was opportune to have, you see how, how she will package that thing very well make it um make it mm, see, if even if even if the small penis doesn't know how to do it so you as a woman you know your body very well you know how your body works and hey you can just take your time to teach this man guide him make him believe that he can do better even with that small penis he shouldn't be feeling anyhow he shouldn't be looking for ways to make it bigger because god has created him that way you get when God was God did not announce just like me now that I, I complain that I'm not tall enough. You get, I had to stop complaining when I realized that I didn't create myself. It was God that created me when they were giving height. I you get it was not like I was not around when they were giving height and I did not choose choose my normal the normal height I want to be. So I know how I'm a very and this time I'm so contented. Even if you give me a man that has that has the smallest of what pennies we make as long as as long as he has erection, as long as he's not impotent, as long as he does not have any sickness, any disease or whatsoever, and he's a man for God's sake, people should take it easy on men with tiny pennies. It is okay. It's everywhere. This man has a small. What you should be looking for is a good man, a nice man that will take care of you, that would um, provide for you. 
make you feel all right what do you need the big pennies for what if you have a guy that is so fucking good in bed that has a big pennies and he treats you roughly he beats you no wonder so many women still end up it in a in an abusive relationship because after beating them and all the man gives them the cassava that will heal all their pains tomorrow the man will still beat them again that's stupidity of the highest level okay you deserve a better man even with a small pennies that that is okay that can treat you all right what else are you looking for if you keep insisting, I look at those women somehow, I call them good diggers. You come to me and say, you love this guy because he has a small penis. Or you cannot date a guy with a tiny penis. You cannot date a guy. You are a good digger. You are a fucking good digger. That's what you are. They are the type that if your husband is rich or your boyfriend is rich and tomorrow he goes broke, you will fucking leave him and go and look for a richer person. You will fucking leave him no matter how many children you have for him, no matter how many years. If he doesn't have anything, you will cheat on him. Women that complain, women that mostly complain that their husband has, in fact, 99.5 percent of them are cheats. They are gold diggers. Look very well. I don't care. I know a lot of women will come, come at me, by as will come at me for saying this, but I don't care because it's the truth.